Welcome to the chapter Force. Now, let us perform an activity to observe the effects of net force acting on an object. Click each tab to know more. Choose a heavy object like a table that you can move only by pushing hard. Try to push it. Observe the changes. Now ask your friend to push in the same direction along with you. Observe the changes. We observe that it is easier to push the table when you take the help of your friend. The force applied by your friend added to the force exerted by you results in both forces being applied on the table in the same direction. The total forces applied by both of you makes it easier to move the table. Now, ask your friend to push the table from the opposite direction to you. Observe the direction in which it moves. We observe that the net force on an object is zero if the two forces acting on it in opposite direction are equal. Finally, we learn that all forces have both magnitude and direction. While adding forces, the directions of forces have to be taken into account. When forces act on a body along a straight line and they are in the same direction, the net force is taken as the sum of all forces acting on the body. The sign convention must be used to add forces. The force F1 directed towards right could be taken as positive and the force F2 acting towards left could be taken as negative. If F1 greater than F2, then net force F net is equal to F1 plus minus F2 is equal to F1 minus F2. Finally, we conclude that if the two forces act in the opposite directions on an object, the net force acting on it is the difference between the two forces. The object at rest moves in the direction of the net force acting on it.